Have you ever, ever heard of the term mental parasites? Anto Hai, who's an ascended master who lives in uh, Detroit, Michigan, told me the name mental parasites. And the mental parasites that are the humans who torture me by electronic harassment are mental parasites. I could totally doesn't use the word mental parasite the spiritual teacher, the power of now. He was on the TV show Oprah for five days in a row with Oprah doing his spiritual teachings, I don't know, 20 years ago. Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now, was in airport kiosks and bookstores everywhere. And still is. The people who do this to me are mental parasites. Eckhart Tolle would call them egoic people because they're run by their ego, which he calls a mind-made me. So anybody who is an ego, who is a mind-made me, is a mental And they are a parasite. You know, what else do we want to talk about? Well, Eckhart Tolle gives us information about using the awareness of consciousness itself to dissolve away the ego and left behind is, uh, well, I'm just going to call it spirit. Some people would call it soul. How do you get such wonderful soul music? If you look up soul music, it's wonderful, heartwarming music that makes you feel good. Soul. Just look up soul music. Because it's not ego. Ego is greedy. Abuse, abuse of power. Greedy, gluttonous. Me, 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 me. That's ego. Service to self is ego. So spiritual teachings are always about you letting in more and more of your soul to run you by kicking out ego. Soul is you as the divine, the divinity that you are is your soul. But if you are stuck in ego, you are not soul, you are not divine, you are a mind parasite. What is mind? Look around you. Everything that you see around you is mind. Because you're seeing everything around you with what you consider mind. So whether it's, you know, if you close your eyes and you're having a dream, that's you in mind. And if you look around, what you see expressed around you is mind. Then we have to go into another informational, and that is the planes of consciousness. The mind, and below mind, you might have an emotional plane. Above mind, you have spirit and soul, Buddha, causal planes, the higher consciousness planes. 
So when you go and get um, the teachings of Eckhart Tolle or Dr. David R. Hawkins of Consciousness Research, it's all about you rising on the scale of human consciousness by taming your ego and then getting your ego to admit that it's not the soul and that it needs to be transcended by something better. It has to surrender to soul. Ego must surrender to your own divinity. Ego is not divine. And that's what the spiritual journey is all about. In Zen Buddhism, there are pictures of a guy and his ox. Zen ox, O-X. Pictures that are, I don't know, hundreds, maybe a thousand years old. Because this teaching is not a new teaching. And what happens is, you know, is, well, you have to go look it up. Because I'm under demonic attack, and the demonic are mind parasites, ego. Ego also means edging God out. Because ego is not your soul. And those ox pictures from ancient China show what happens to people on the spiritual journey. They start off with, you know, being a man and his ox that he's leading around. And they end up with a lot of changes in what goes on with the person. And rather than me trying to describe that, a picture is worth a thousand words. So just look for that Zen ox, because that's what they use in Google. Okay, so the mind parasites are egoic people who are demonic because they torture me. So what's happening then on the planet is as more and more of us insist on our divine soul, and us rejecting ego, there's more and more soul here on planet Earth. And those people who are still egoic are garbage. And they become more and more apparent as being dysfunctional and criminal and toxic. You know, like one of those things. So mind parasites are ego 